What's the difference between pan and two watercolors? Hi everyone. First of all, I'm feeling a bit ill, so I'm sorry if my voice sounds scratchy. Today I'm comparing watercolor tubes and pans. I've always used pans, but I recently got these two watercolors sent to me and tried them for the first time. I've been using them a little bit since in combination with my pan watercolors and today I'll compare them by swatching the colors and painting roughly the same image with each of them on the same type of watercolor paper. And since Easter is just around the corner, I thought I'd paint daffodils for spring decor or Easter cards. I don't actually remember the last time I would have given anyone an Easter card, but maybe I will this year. The pan watercolors are the Pocket Plus watercolor set by Windsor and Newton Cotman. I've had this set for over nine years and I have yet to replace any of the pans, although a few of them are running very low and are in need of replacing. In fact, the alizarine crimson hue has almost completely run out and I couldn't even get a proper swatch anymore. The set comes with 12 paint pans and their half size and student grade. It also comes with a few mixing trays and a brush that also fits inside the set, although I rarely use it. The set is a small size, hence the name pocket set, so you can travel with it. There's no water hold or anything that comes with it though. I do not remember how much this cost when I bought it, but I'm assuming it was something between 15 to 20 euros. I'll link to the US and UK Amazon listings below the video, so you can check out the current price if you're interested. And they are affiliate links. The tube watercolor set is by Home Hobby by 3L, and it came with 12 12 milliliter tubes, and I also got the mixing tray as part of a bigger watercolor kit they sent me. But if you buy them individually, the mixing tray does not come with the watercolors, it's a separate item. In their online store, the watercolors are $6.99 and the mixing tray is $1.99 in euros. And it says on the website that they are artist quality paints. I'll link these below too if you want to check them out. So let's compare the tube and pan watercolors or at least these two brands specifically since I don't have experience with other student or artist grade watercolors. The color selection between the sets is not exactly the same but close enough. Pans can be a bit hard to use but you can add a drop of water or spray water on them and let it sit for a while to soften the pans. As you can see by the swatches, I really can't get the same opacity and saturation with the pan watercolors as I do with the tube watercolors. I don't know if that's due to how I use them or a difference between pans and tubes in general or the quality and pigmentation of the paints. The white was a good example of this. I normally use the white in the pan set for muting colors or mixing skin tones, but with the two watercolors I noticed in a previous painting I can actually use the white for highlights on darker colors because it's that opaque. Comparing them in the swatches, the white pan was not completely clean, so it wasn't a good comparison though. The pan watercolor white is Chinese white, but the two watercolor just says white. It doesn't specify which white pigment it is. The two paints are easier to mix with water, so if you need to paint larger areas or mix a lot of paint, it's easier to squeeze out more paint from the tube than to try and get that much pigment out of the pan with a brush. But I do think I'm using out the tubes quicker than the pans. It's easier to use too much paint at a time with the tubes. I did find that it's easier to keep the two watercolors clean since you're only mixing the colors on the mixing tray or maybe even on the paper as you're painting, but not in the tubes. Whereas with pan watercolors, while I do mix in the mixing trays, I don't usually bother cleaning the brush between colors when I'm adding them to the mix and I end up mixing on the pans as well and they get dirty. 
As for after the painting, I think you should clean the pan watercolors. I rarely do that. I usually just leave the set open to let the pans and the mixing trays dry before closing the box. And I only wash the brush. With the tubes, just close each tube and pack them away. You can either rinse out the mixing tray or let it dry and re-wet the paints and keep using them the next time. However, pans are more accessible in the sense that you don't have to keep opening and closing the caps while you're painting like you do with tubes. I don't know if I'll replace the colors that are nearly finished from the pan set or if I'll just keep using them together with tube watercolors. Of course, it would be nice to have the little travel set as complete, but whenever I've thought about replacing the few individual pans and search for them at an art store, they've been really expensive. So maybe I'll just squeeze some of the corresponding tube watercolor into those empty pan boxes and let them dry and use that as a kind of a pan watercolor. I remember hearing somewhere that if you let tube watercolor dry and re-wet it, it's going to lose some of its qualities though. Or maybe that was about some specific brand. So if there's someone more experienced with tube watercolors watching this, let me know what you think about that. And I'd like to know if you use watercolor tubes or pans, and if you've tried both, which ones do you prefer and why, or do you use both but for different purposes. If you want to see another episode of me comparing art supplies and techniques, click on the video on the screen. Thanks for watching and see you there.